Hello and welcome back to another Space Engineers Showcase video. In today's video we're looking at something very simple with a lot of uses. Yes, this is going to be a script video on RDAV's Easy Auto Turret Script. Yes, this is a very simple script to set up and you can use it on basically anything. What it does is allows you to build a custom turret out of a fixed weapon. Yes, there have been other scripts on the workshop such as Mart, which is the mouse aimed rotor turret. So if I just come over to here and type in turret, if I can spell correctly, there we go. We have this. Now Whip's mouse aimed rotor turret script is very useful if you want to build a turret for you to manually control and fire yourself. Our DAV's easy auto turret is from building a automatic turret that will seek out an enemy and shoot them without you having to do anything. And that is what I'm going to show you how to set up. So closing out of everything, we're going to need a programmable block for the script, a rotor, some kind of turret which I'll explain in a bit, and whatever fixed weapon you want, yes. So once you've downloaded the script off the workshop, it's in the description below, if you want to download and play around with it, I highly recommend you do, we're going to need to place a rotor down. So what I've got over here is a simple grid with a bunch of reactors attached onto it. Don't mind the cannon there, I had a small accident earlier. So we're going to place down a rotor. Yes, just going to place it anywhere on this. I want to put it up here with its butt facing the ground. This is going to be our left and our right. And then we're going to put another rotor on its side on top of it. This will be the up and down of our turret. Next, we're going to need a turret. It doesn't matter what, as long as you can automatically find an enemy and start aiming at it, shooting at it. So our custom turret can follow it and do the same. I'm just going to put down this interior turret right here and I'm also going to maximize its range just so it's easier to showcase. There we go. From here we need to have a cockpit. Yes, any old cockpit will do. Control seat, yeah, a control seat, a cockpit, whatever you want just go and drop it down somewhere like so. From here we can put whatever fixed weapon we want on the end of this rotor. I'm going to put the little David on it because I like big cannons. So I'm just gonna put it like that and we're basically ready to go. All we need to do now is come over to the programmable block, edit, browse our scripts, find the turret script which is RDAV's easy auto turret script, copy to the editor, press OK and we'll get this information right here. Now if there is something missing, if you miss something out, it will tell you what is missing and what you need to add. But for the moment, everything is set up and we're good to go. So what happens from here? Well we're going to need to have an enemy. So what I'm going to do is spawn in a little ship over in this direction here. And I'm going to spawn in a ship that can fly. Yes, being the workshop blueprints seem to be uh, a little bit buggy today. I can't seem to spawn them in. But I'm going to put this here and I'm going to just sit here, find my free camera, wherever this has gone, and I'm going to put it next to the little David. Yes, yeah, so I'm going to press F on this, find the controls, give everything to the pirates. There we go. And there we go. The interior turret is now shooting at the ship, and the little David is aiming at it and will fire wherever that is shooting. So there we go. There was a cannon shot over there. It's now aimed a little bit over there. And it'll fire. Boom. Like so. It's a very easy turret to set up, isn't it? So I can just remove that and then find something else. What else do we want to put on here? Ooh, what is this? Oh, that's for a small ship as well. That's kind of a shame. A Ghoul's Cannon. Ooh, so many choices off the workshop. What do I... Ooh, a rail gun. That will always be amazing. So let me now go and place a rail gun down. I will need to just build just a bit of steel blocks on here so I can fit it on. And there is the rail gun. I think it just opened fire then. Let's just come over to this, recompile it. And there goes the rail gun. Woo! Okay. A bit of recoil on there, I think. A wee bit of recoil. But. Yes, that is how the turret works. The heavier the turret, the weaker the... Oh dear. Yeah, you get the idea with the recoil. 
And yes, this thing is having a bit of a hard time, so I'm just going to remove the turret as best I can. There we go. That's now been removed. We can just drop that down. Doesn't matter. But let's try something else, shall we? Ooh, how about the Atlas Super Laser? Yes, we could even put this on a turret. Now, if this could stop spinning for a split second, there we go. I'm not sure that's going to have enough power, actually, thinking about it. And it might want to stop spinning at some point. Let's now recompile. There we go. It's recompiled. So the Atlas Super Laser has been attached. It's turned on. But I will need to check the settings on it. Oh, God. That fired without warning. So, yes. The Atlas Super Laser is now even more powerful because it no longer has to be restricted to a fixed grid. Yes, you could use the mouse aim script if you wanted to build a custom turret. But this is an automatic turret. Yes, so... If you want something super dead, this is one way to do it. And we can go even further. If I was to find a little button somewhere around here. Here we go, that'll do nicely. Let's give this entire station to the pirates. There we go. Nobody wants this. The turret will start shooting at something. And then the Atlas Super Laser, once it's adjusted, luckily it has a long warm-up time, so it can adjust itself it will open fire and blast the base. We actually got the sound this time, I can hear it. About five seconds. Oh, look at that. It does a sweeping motion because of the recoil on it. Oh, that is fantastic. But yes, this is basically all the script does. You can attach it onto a ship. You can put it onto a base. You can use any old modded blocks. It doesn't matter. In fact, I wanted to do... Maybe a few more weapons, just a few more. So let's go and find another fixed weapon. Mm, therefore, a. Mm, it's kind of hard to actually find a fixed weapon that will fit. That's the battle cannon. Got the broadside. I'm not sure if this is a turret or not. Is this a turret weapon? It certainly looks like a turret weapon, so I'll pass on that. What do I want to do to end this video? What turrets do we have? In fact, I can type cannon into here. Ooh, explosive laser cannon. Let's try that, shall we? So I will need to put a block here. Let's go put a... Just a block there. It doesn't really matter. And I want to put it there. Then I come over to my programmable block before that just goes and kills me by swiping. And we want to recompile. Oh, God. There we go. The turret has now found his enemy and will open fire any minute. There we go. But can we put more than one weapon on here, are you asking? Well, let's find out, shall we? Let's go and put a few more on there. And to recompile the scripts. So there's that. Recompile. Do all three fire. No, it's just the one. Oh, wait, no, they do work. So we can. Oh, I'm, I'm, I'm going to get silly here. I know it. Atlas Super Laser, Atlas Super Laser, maybe some more laser turrets, in fact. Oh, that's getting wonky. That's getting very, very wonky. But it'll do. I will do this. It will be the most amazing turret anyone has ever seen. There are them. Oh god, this is not going to work. Oh god. Oh, where is he going? Well, okay. Let's just go and recompile this, shall we? Ooh. So think it's the first one? <laughs> oh, oh no, the Atlas Super Lasers! Wow. These things are kind of lethal, aren't they? Look at the destruction! Here they go. Oh dear, oh dear, oh dear. It's rather top heavy. Wow. It actually does quite a lot when it's bobbing up and down. That's pretty good. I'd hate to be a fly that was just above there. Uh oh, here they go again. I'll let them fire one more time and it'll be the end of this video. Because there's not too much else to talk about. It's just a fantastic script that allows you to do stuff like this. Uh oh. Where's it turning? There we go. 
Whew, I've just missed me. I appear to be quite lucky here. But yes, this is the RDAV Easy Auto Turret script. It'll be in the description below if you wish to download and try it yourself. I highly recommend you do because it does open up quite a lot of opportunities, especially on larger ships, if you don't want to have the more traditional turrets. In fact, Beans is already charged up. Let's just let him fire one more time. Oh, that's good. Ooh. Oh yes, look at the poor base. Oh, oh dear, oh dear, oh dear. Oh, all right, you can you can calm down now. You can calm down now. Anyway, thank you all for watching, and I'll be back with another video some point soon. Bye bye.